Hey everyone, Will here, and it's a couple of weeks now since I outlined all of the extra content that I wanted to be adding back into my channel that, that frankly, I'd just run out of time to do. And you'll know that one of those was going through all of the old vlog footage that I've been doing over the last few years, and when I came home from attending these exciting events, I just didn't have the, the time or the drive to be able to edit them down to release on the channel. However, I'm pleased to announce that Tanya has been helping massively behind the scenes, and so I present the Tiger Collection at Tank Fest that we visited last year. Hope you enjoy it. So here I am at a brand new exhibition, the Tiger Collection, which is arguably the, the greatest collection of Tiger tanks in the world that you have ever seen. Behind me you see a pre-production Tiger II right here. And then alongside it, we have a Yak Tiger right here. Next up, the production version of the Tiger II. And of course, this is a brand new vehicle to the museum. It's on loan here for two years. We have the Elephant and of course, the one and only Tiger 131. So let's check it out. So behind me now, firstly, we have the pre-production Tiger II. And this one has actually been repainted in what were believed to be the original colors or the colors that it was found in. Many of you key World of Tanks players out there might notice the turret on this vehicle is what would be considered the stock turret inside World of Tanks. And alongside the pre-production Tiger II that we just saw, we have, of course, the Yag Tiger. This thing has been repainted in the same color, so the color scheme is very similar as we managed to go around the room, which uh, I think is very fetching and it does make it feel like it is the Tiger collection but also it's a little bit of a shame to lose the, the original variety that we had there. One of my favorite things about the Yank Tiger is you can actually get up behind it. You can jump on top of this platform right here. And then when we get up, we can see right inside at the engine, at the back, what a joy it is to be able to see inside these gigantic steel behemoths. One thing that's absolutely awesome I found about the Tiger Collection is they've got a fantastic resource of both video guides we can see interior views of inside the vehicle. This is absolutely amazing. You're gonna be able to get sneak peeks inside like never before and be able to find out information about these vehicles at the source. Now with the Yank Tiger covered, we're moving on towards the Tiger II, the production version of the Tiger II with what we would call the upgraded turret for World of Tanks players. Now this vehicle, has, I guess, a different camouflage scheme. It's not painted up the same as the pre-production Tiger II that we saw there. And personally, I prefer this kind of a look on it. And now with the Tiger II covered, we're going to be moving on to a vehicle which I have never seen before inside the UK. We are taking a look at the Elephant. This thing is on loan here for two years, and so if you have some time, and I definitely recommend to do so, you've got to get down here to be able to see the entire collection while the Tank Destroyer variant of the Tiger is available. So one thing that's really interesting about the elephant that we have inside the tank museum is this one was actually involved in the Battle of Kursk. And I just spotted that if I zoom in a little bit, you can actually see the battle damage there on the mantlet. And also if we go around, we can see some ricochets that have happened off the superstructure of this German tank destroyer. Now, of course, a lot of you might be thinking, why is this vehicle called the Elephant when, of course, it is called the Ferdinand inside the game? And the information provided here says the vehicle went through a period of modification and its name officially changed to Elephant in February 1944. And then finally, of course, inside the Tiger collection, we have the one and only, it is the Tiger tank. And this one specifically is Tiger 131, which a lot of you will know has just gone into the game as a tier six German premium tank. And if you needed any more evidence, there we go, right on the side of the vehicle. Now Tiger 131 is always special for me because it is the reason why I came to the tank museum in 2012, before I started my channel, before I even started to really get into World of Tanks all that much. But it's also the vehicle is to the reason why I started playing the game in the first place. And I think that, that uh, my story is probably not going to be that unique. I think a lot of you might have got into the game and also got down to the Tank Museum or Tank Fest because of this vehicle. But then after you've had the shock and the awe of meeting the Tiger, so to say, for the first time, then your interest grows, it develops, and you want to be seeing all of the other amazing collection that they have here at the Tank Museum. 
Now, well, personally, I had the pleasure of seeing the Sturmtiger myself when I was visiting Kubinka in the museum that's near there. To be able to get a Sturmtiger in this collection, there's been a virtual reality experience, which is actually quite interesting. So I'm just going to show you through it. So firstly, you don your headphones so you can be hearing the monologue. And next, you click start on side this screen. And then it appears. Look at that. That's what's there. And there's the Sturmtiger. The Sturmtiger is a bit of an oddity in armoured warfare. Only 18 were ever built, two which survive, one in Germany and one in Russia. Despite a lot of effort being placed in their construction, they saw little action. The vehicles have the same engine, track and transmission of the Tiger I, but the top and front of the hull were removed and a massively thick casement containing a 380mm rocket launcher added. The main weapon on the Sturm Tiger was a rocket launcher, modified from a design for a coastal defence weapon. This fires rockets, not traditional shells. <laughs> Where did it go? The 88mm shell of the Tiger I and its propellant case looks tiny when compared to the massive size of the 380mm Sturm Tiger rocket. So that's absolutely fantastic. That is the experience, the mixed reality experience of the Sturm Tiger. And you know what? This is my first real experience of where VR has actually been quite a lot of fun. And so that was the impressive Tiger collection. If you want to check it out yourself, then you're going to have to get down to the Tank Museum in Bovington. And I contacted them to just check that, you know, the, the Tiger collection is still there considering it's an entire year since I saw it and recorded this footage. And they said that it's going to be there at least until this autumn. And so those of you who have booked Tankfest tickets already, and it's a couple of weeks now, it's, it's rapidly catching up on me. I've got that entire collection to look forward to. And talking about Tankfest, I haven't really announced this on YouTube, but I am going to be attending this year. And just like the previous years, I can't wait to meet hundreds and hundreds of you on the Saturday and the Sunday. There's going to be a designated meet and greet location inside the Tamiya Hall, which also houses the legendary Tog. Now the time is important too, because the meet and greet is going to last for three hours between 11 and 2. And if the queues are going to be anything like last year, please do come a little bit in advance and don't come at 2 and then see me wandering off and be disappointed that I, that I want to go outside and see some of the tanks as well. And with regards to Tank Fest, Saturday is now completely sold out but there are still tickets available for Sunday for any last minute delvers into the tank fest action and I'd like to finish the video by giving some thanks firstly Tanya, oh my word, thank you for, for taking the time to delve through these archives of footage that we have and then turning my terrible commentary into something that maybe people would want to watch. And if you all want to see more videos like this, then, then let me know in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up or if you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And I'm sure that we'll be looking for your, your hopefully constructive feedback. Maybe you don't like certain aspects. Maybe you really liked uh, certain aspects of it in the comments. And also, I'd like to give a massive thank you to the hundred of you. That's right. 100 people who stepped up to sponsor this channel a couple of weeks ago. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we can keep it growing into something where both me and Tanya can dedicate even more time to. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.